Hello friends, so this is our next project. We're gonna start talking about things that start to ripen or harvest time for fall or autumn. And in Tennessee, it's still pretty warm and um, we'll start seeing all of our beautiful fall foliage, which is the leaves that start to turn all these fall autumn colors. So we're gonna start off with tracing our shapes today. So that's the first thing that we need to accomplish. This is what we'll be getting done today okay so our first step is to take our paper plate and we're going to trace that with our black crayon okay so you're watching me and then we'll do together so you'll have your black crayon it'll be in one of your little art boxes and i'm going to take and make sure that i start in one corner and i'm not going to draw on the paper plate because somebody else will use that we're going to use it because it's nice and round for the plate for our apples. We can say that it's a bowl as well. So a nice big fruit bowl. Okay, so there's our circle. Now, what I would like for us to pretend is that this line right here, see how plates and bowls kind of have this outside edge that's kind of a lip of a bowl or a lip of a plate. And we're gonna make a fancy one on the outside here. So I like to make kind of a curvy line. We've been talking about lines. Not super curvy, because remember, you're gonna have to cut this out. And I'm sorry, Miss Diggs, our um, screen and our paper is a little bit bigger than my video is allowing me to do right now. So you can see our fancy design around. Now Miss Diggs has also gotten you some things that you can trace, because what shape are these? Uh-huh, they're circles. And then when we think about apples or oranges or things that we put into a fruit bowl, we think about what kind of shape would those be? So we're gonna use this to create as many apples as we can. I like to kind of start out here on the edge. And then again, I'm gonna trace and go around. See how I'm holding it on the top and I'm tracing at the bottom. Now, if it gets over here next to the plate, that's okay. It's just gonna be sitting really nice and close to the plate. So there's one. And then we have stems. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark a little stem. So you can have a little stem coming out. I like to go ahead and color those in. Or you can add like a little line into it. So it looks like the stem is going into the apple, okay? So again, I'm gonna go ahead and come on over here. I'm gonna trace pretty close. Some of you guys will have bigger apples. Some of you will have smaller apples. Again, what's missing right here? Oh yeah. So I can go ahead and make a stem. All right, one place to put that. I'm going to go ahead and add another one over here. Nice and close. All the way around. And I like to stand and do this. That way it's a little easier for me to see where I'm going. Make another little stem. Let's see, I've got room for maybe one, two more. Or maybe I could put one in the middle. Hmm. Let's just do one right here. I think everybody should be able to at least get four apples. And a stem and a little line where it looks like it's going inside there. So you know what, Miss Diggs is going to do this. Now, see how this is touching on top of here? Well, we can make it look like that apple is under this one. So this is a good little learning experience right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and stop when I touch that other apple. I'm gonna start and stop. See how I can see right through there? because it's the clear plastic. Now, sometimes you won't, but you, at least you'll see this one and you know to stop. Again, I'm gonna start over here, come up to the apple and stop. So now it looks like this apple's underneath. So this right here, that way they're stacked. Cause some of you guys, when you have probably fruits and things at home, if they overlap, which means they go on top or side to side and one touches on top of the other. So you might have that overlapping, okay? So right here, I've got all of my things drawn and ready for next week, okay? So that's what we're doing today, is tracing and creating our apples and our fruit bowl. Thank you.